Hi everyone. Today we're going to share a story about oh, Charlie and Lola and it's called I am too hmm, I am too absolutely small for school. I wonder if that works. I am absolutely too small for school. Might work better. Let's see. I have this little sister Lola. She is small and very funny. Now mum and dad say she is nearly quite big enough to go to school. Lola is not so sure. I wonder if any of you felt like that before you came to school. Lola says I am absolutely not big. I am still really quite small. She says, <coughs> I probably do not have time to go to school. I am too extremely busy doing important things at home. Sometimes we feel like that, don't we? We think, maybe not at the moment, because you are at home. But sometimes we might think, nope, I've got too many busy things to be doing to come to school. I say, <coughs> at school, you will learn numbers and how to count up to 100. Lola says, I don't need to learn up to 100. I already know up to 10 and that is plenty. I have 10 fingers and also I have 10 toes. Ooh, can you check? Do you have 10 fingers and 10 toes? And I never eat more than 10 biscuits in one go. 10 is enough. Should we count and see if there is 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! But Lola, I say, what if 11 eager elephants all wanted a treat? How would you count up how many treats that would be? Well, said Lola, I am not quite sure. I say, what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people you like. <gasps> I know some people in our class have been doing that, which is so lovely. Lola says, I like to talk on the telephone. It is more friendly and straight away. But not everyone has a telephone, you know, Lola, I say. Who doesn't? said Lola. Father Christmas, I say. You have to write him a special note and put it up the chimney to tell his helpers your Christmas wish. Otherwise, the little helpers might get your wish muddled up. I didn't know that, Charlie, said Lola. And Lola, I say, don't you want to read words? Then you'll be able to read your own books and understand secret messages written on the fridge. Oh, I love reading books and I love those secret messages. <gasps> I wonder if you guys feel excited now that you can read your books. You can read your own stories. Lola says, I know lots of secrets. I don't need to read words and I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I just make them up. But Lola, how would, what would you do if there was an ever so angry ogre who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favourite bedtime story? I don't know, Charlie says Lola. Then Lola says, I would like to read to an ogre and count up elephants and put notes up the chimney, but I absolutely will not ever wear a school uniform. I do not like wearing the same as other people. I wonder, do you like your school uniform? I think it's a very good colour, isn't it? I say, but Lola, you do not have to wear a school uniform. At our school, you can wear whatever you like. Oh, that's a nice school, isn't it? Oh, says Lola, you wait there. I know exactly what I can wear. Well, Lola, that certainly suits you. 
but you cannot go to school dressed as a crocodile. A crocodile? A crocodile. Lola says, this is not a crocodile, it is an alligator. I say, you can't really go as an alligator either. Why not? says Lola. Because alligator is for best. For school, stripes are nice. Really? says Lola. I like to wear stripes, says Lola. But what will I do at lunchtime? You know I will not never, ever, ever, never eat a school dinner. My sister Lola is fussy about food. I say, but Lola, you can take your very own packed lunch in your very own lunchbox. I know in our class, some of us have school dinners, some of us have packed lunches, some of us switch between and have packed lunches some days and school dinners other days. It doesn't matter, does it? It's what works for you. Lola says, I do not want to eat at school, alone, all by myself, on my own. What could we say to Lola? Do you think she has to eat all by herself alone at school? Do you ever eat all by yourself alone at school? I say, but Lola, at school you will meet lots of new friends. You can have lunch with them. Then Lola says, I already have my friend, Seren Lawrenson. I would like to have lunch at home with him. Seren Lawrenson is Lola's invisible friend. No one knows what he looks like. I say, well, Soren Lawrenson will be going to school too. What will he do if he can't sit next to you? Oh, you're right. Soren Lawrenson is a bit slightly nervous to be at school on his own. I will absolutely have to go too, says Lola. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly. She says, Soren Lawrenson feeling slightly not very well. He is worried he will not be able to count numbers and do letters and read words and no one will talk to him so he will be all by himself on his own. Sometimes that feels a bit of a worry doesn't it? We might, we might think I'm a bit worried to go to school because I'm scared I might get something wrong or I might not have any friends to talk to or I might not like it. What could we do to help Lola when she feels like this? Is school about getting it right? What do we say? It doesn't matter if you get it right. What happens if you make a mistake? Your brain grows, doesn't it? What do we need to do if we can't do it? <gasps> do we say I can't do it? You're right. We say I can't do it yet. Because everybody can do anything they want to do as long as they just keep trying. Our special word, persevering. As long as we try and try, doesn't matter if we get it wrong once, twice, lots and lots and lots and lots of times. As long as we keep going, that's how we get better, isn't it? Now, what about if she says she's worried that no one will talk to her? Or she, Soren Lawrenson is worried that no one will talk to him? Yeah, you can ask somebody. You could talk to your teacher, you could talk to another teacher or another person. You can tell your mummies and daddies. We can fix it together, can't we? Lola, I say, it will be okay. You'll be fine. I bet you'll both have a really good time and after school we'll have pink milk at home. But all day I am worried. I can't see her at break and she's nowhere at lunch. I can't find her at home time. She's not by her peg. But then, there she is. And she's not alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. At home, I say, Lola, I told you you would have a good time. And Lola says, Oh, I know, Charlie. I was not worried. It was Soren Lawrence and he was very nervous. Not me. I was fine. Do you think that's true? <laughs> wow. Poor Lola, she was quite worried, wasn't she? And I know sometimes it can feel a bit worry, worrisome if we don't know about something. We've never done something before. That can feel quite scary, can't it? You 
never done learning at home before before this but now you do it oh and that's a knock at the door so i will see you soon bye bye